is 3D printing easy? Easy to get started, easy to make some prints, and an even bigger question, is it expensive? I've been asked this question a lot. And so today I just thought I'd do something a little different and talk to you about not only my experiences with getting started, but friends who've gotten into 3D printing as well. Now, if you just wanna know the answers and move along, well, I'm gonna help you out here. If you know nothing about 3D printing, it's gonna cost you at least a couple hundred dollars to get a printer, another $20 or so for each spool of filament, and you're gonna end up spending a fair amount of time getting to know the software and hardware. But there's so much more to it than that. First, you should know that there's a couple of types of 3D printing. There's resin and filament printing, but filament printing is by far the easiest and least expensive way to get started, so that's what I'm going to be talking about and recommending for you to get started. Okay, so when I got started a few years ago, I kind of fell into it, and honestly, I nearly quit 3D printing altogether. My buddy Ronnie at Virtual Adrenaline Recording Studio there north of Atlanta, he bought an incredible machine for about $400. Um, this one right here. It's the 10 Log Hands 2 IDEX 3D printer. Two colors. He checked around a good bit and found that IDEX or independent dual extrusion, that was the way to go and this brand was pretty reputable. And for some reason, Ronnie was willing to pay about double what he could have gotten otherwise. Well, guess what happened? A few little prints were decent in between a lot of bad prints. Failure after failure. He contacted the guy in California that sold it to him and somehow Ronnie ended up with another 10 log hands to IDEX 3D printer. Then COVID-19 happened. The vendor disappeared. Ronnie basically gave these to me a little while later, telling me he just never wanted to hear about them or see them again. We don't talk about it. Well, I'm a pretty handy guy, I think so. I decided to take them on and work on them. I found out immediately that the voltage setting was wrong on both because, you know, a manual, a sticker, or something like that would have been nice if they'd have come with that. Anyway, I still had problems after that though. So after about a year, I saw a video on the 3D printing zone about the longer LK5 Pro. The price had dropped. My wonderful wife was willing for me to keep going with 3D printing, and so I got it. The difference between the 10 logs and the longer was literally night and day. Literally. I had very few issues that I could blame on the machine. I actually learned more in a month of printing on the longer than I had in about a year with the two 10 logs. And that was mainly because I was able to print a lot of things and I really enjoyed it. All right, so I know you're wondering why I'm telling you all this. Point is, I hope you got this, that if you buy the wrong printer, you're gonna have a really hard time in 3D printing. It doesn't matter if you spend $2,000 or $200, do your due diligence and make sure it's what you need, not what some website or video tells you to get. Which brings up another question, how to decide where to start. And I'll keep it simple, money, versus time and effort. Think of it this way, you have a line with money on the left, time and effort on the right. Your decision is a dot in the middle. The closer to you get to one, the farther away you get from the other. Basically, spend more money, worry less about time and effort. Willing to work a little bit more to get everything going, well, then you can spend less money. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm talking about beginners here. After you get into it, you're probably gonna spend a lot more time learning your printer inside and out. And you're probably gonna spend a good bit more money as well, since you're gonna want those fancier spools of filament. Also, this doesn't always hold true. For instance, the new Prusa XL runs about four grand, has the ability to print with five colors. It's awesome, but Takes a couple hours to put it together. I've heard horror stories about how difficult it is to use. And I've also heard some incredible stories about how things work great when it works. Uh, the point is, more money doesn't always make it easier. I have a video on selecting the best printer for you, breaking it down to a few simple questions. And if you're really wanting to get into this hobby, I recommend you check that out. So our question was, is 3D printing easy? It can be. You just need to decide what your comfort level is and do your research. Find the printer for you. Oh, and if you have somebody close by that has a 3D printer, that would be a really big bonus to help with any questions you have as you get going. Of course, there's a lot of communities online. 
check out our channel as well as others. Well, I hope I helped you at least have an idea how to get started. It's a great hobby for everybody, no matter what age you are. More questions? drop them in the comments or send me an email. I'll do my best to help you out. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep up with everything on the channel as I keep helping you to learn, create, and amaze.